All right, guys. So this is my creation. I don't even know what to call it. I'm thinking of the River Rover, I guess. Unless you guys can have a better name for it, but you can see it easily holds two fishing rods, and it's got the camera on there. And I'll have a second camera mount here shortly, and plenty of storage. I've got a dry box in there with my cell phone and extra batteries bait and little container hooks and weights and stuff and I've got a rope with an anchor on it and this rope runs all the way around to the other side so I can position the anchor in the front or the back however I feel I need it so this is what it looks like For this build you're going to need one 10 gallon storage container with a lid, one 5 foot piece of 3 inch PVC and one 5 foot piece of inch and a half PVC, four 3 inch PVC caps, two inch and a half to half inch tees threaded on that half inch side, four inch and a half 90 degree elbows, four three inch to inch and a half tees, one can of PVC glue, two half inch by inch and a half steel pipe nipple, two suction cup camera mounts, and two tie downs. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make pontoons for the sides. I'm going to use 3 inch PVC for that. And I'm thinking I want, I want these pieces to be Right on the edge is, is what I'm trying to find. So about 14 and a quarter is what I, I'm looking at here. So I'll go ahead and cut two at 14 and a quarter. So here's my three inch pipe. I'm just going to mark 14 and a quarter. PVC glue, and we want these glued because we want them airtight. Now let's say give it a quarter turn.
those two. This is going to fit here. This. And I want to do a little pontoon cap. That's where these come in. Six. If you ever measure like this, here's a carpenter's trick. If I want six inches here, I don't go 12 here. I go 12 and an eighth because every cut you make, you take off an eighth. Your blade is an eighth of an inch thick. So 12 and an eighth, then 18 and a quarter, and then 24 and 3 eighths. So if I cut on the same side of the line every time, I should have exactly six inches. Okay. All right. Now let's put these together. Here's our pontoons. Now I'm going to go up and over. I mean, elbows. to do go over the top of this this about three and a half okay this together
used to be. The six and a quarter will do. I made a little mistake and I cut those pipes too short, so we're just gonna add some couplings. has a little indention here and we're just going to cut that piece up. I've got my storage area.
one last piece. This is the suction cup mount for your camera. And it's half inch, so all you do is you take this off of here. this way so if I need it to. Now you just put your camera on. Adjust it down, or up, or sideways, and you have storage area. I'm going to put a small anchor in here so I can just drop it and it can film me where I'm at. Extra weights and hooks if I'm waiting and fishing. Some lunch, a snack, water bottle, or whatever I need. So. Here's my little creation, my little camera buggy, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I put the second one in the back. I'm going to get another one of these mounts so that I can have one on each end for whatever reason, in case I need it. Or maybe I want two cameras, I don't know. But uh, I'll put a tether on it, tie a rope off to it, and it's good to go. So. Hope you like this and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.